Okay. Today on the bench we have this Rotomatic Super Astronaut. Of course it's Japan. Again, you're in the 60s and 70s depending on some factors. It's got your standard stop and go, swing open door, blinking shooting gun, realistic shooting noise, rotating body, 2D cell batteries. And it's going to just repeat the same information there. A little taped up image on this side of the box, but the rest of the box is in pretty good shape. We've got, um, I've already got the front and the top off. You know, we've gone over this in the past, but basically on the top, these tabs slide in. Well, first thing I would do would be to put this piece back on. This is the doors. They simply get opened when the guns swing out and the springs cause them to close. And there's tabs on the side which you uh, fold in to hold this in place. Then basically the head tabs in like that. See yeah. And when this comes down, a tab will come up through these slots of which go around the side and the back. And that's what holds it together. Now, um, it did run when I put batteries in it. It um, wasn't running full speed, so I, and I could hear the motor uh, bearings were dry, so I knew I was going to have to get in there to lube the bearings and probably shoot, in fact I did, shoot some contact cleaner into the motor brushes and then all of a sudden it like doubled in speed. So I was very happy about that. The robot itself does appear to have very little play to it. I mean it's very minty. And the um, nice thing about this particular one is it does have all metal gears. Well, I'm sure the walking gear down in here as we've talked about before on these is probably plastic just due to the nature of the design. But at least uh, the main drive gears, brass and steel all the way along. It has the, uh, the two-step articulated gun, which is more complex to build and nice. And down there you can see the pinion motor and the first large flat gear. So it wasn't that hard to uh, lube that. And as far as spraying cleaner to the motor, there is a brush hole, which I don't know if it'll ever show up on camera. But there is a little hole. See that little slot right down there? It's able to spray the cleaner in there. And then as far as lubing the bottom of the motor, you have to get in between this plate and the plate the motor's on. But with that long needle oiler that I use, you can get in there and get oil on the bottom of that uh, motor shaft. Also, um, when it was running, it would go into rotomatic mode and then not come back out. So I went ahead and lubed this shaft, because this is where the uh, ramp gear, the sequencer is where there's two gears that move apart as it crawls up a ramp and then when it comes back around to the slot it's supposed to slot back down again. So when it's in the up position it's in rotomatic mode and when it's in the down position it's in walk mode. It moves a little brass gear down in the bottom up and down whether it'll engage the gears in the waist or engage the gear down in the walking. So I looped the, uh, the shaft that moves up and down and while I was there I hit the other shafts as well to get them all in a happier way. And so now we have a motor, I mean it really is running like new. You know, maybe you can see those gears that I'm talking about. Now they dropped all the way down. See, they were hung up a moment ago. I'm hoping the oil will work its way in. See how they've separated now. And then it dropped back down. It does try to tend to uh, hang up a little bit. I'll play with that some more before I put it back together to make sure that it's working the best it can. Make sure there isn't maybe the little ramp piece is bent a little bit too far out and catches might need to be bent in. Um, that'd be a manufacturing error. But uh, I would just say by looking at the gears and the robot, I don't believe this 
toy has had any playtime. And now that the motor has been lubed up and clean, I mean, it, that's how they should sound back when they were brand new. It's really revving up and sounding good. So, I thought you might enjoy a little inside look into it. There's a lot of different variations of these, but this was the Rotate Omatic Super Astronaut. And it's the one with the astronaut face inside the head.